Hi, uh, here's today's update. Um, last week we said we wanted to start trading as normal, or at least try to. So we did, <laughs> we, we, we tried. Um, uh, did it work? It's probably a little bit too early to tell, but it certainly felt like we could trade as normal. Uh, obviously only one week, it's, um, it's just an indication. We need several weeks of trading to, uh, to see what's really happening. But at the moment, it feels positive. So this month, we wanna move away from the, uh, the coping with COVID uh, kind of updates and start to talk you know, straight up about 2021 and uh, the opportunities and what we're gonna be doing and what we think you should be doing, giving you market updates. Um, so we're still working remotely. Um, things are all still a little bit weird as they are for everybody, uh, but everything that needs to work is working. Um, so we think it's about time to move forward. Um, do you still expect some disruption? Uh, cut the team some slack because some things just aren't as straightforward as they need to be. Um, but otherwise, like I say, let's just move on. We're gonna reorganize the homepage on the website uh, in the, this month. We're gonna take down all the COVID warnings, re replace it with something a little bit more inspiring. Um, at fortherlandlords.com, we want as many people as possible to become landlords and to build their own property empire. We're renewing our focus on engaging uh, and in with landlords and encouraging that growth, actively encouraging that growth. We want to be here to teach people, inspire people to take either that first step or the next step. If you're just starting out or if you're a seasoned pro, if you're already a customer or if you're standing on the sidelines, we'll be reaching out to you and we want to encourage you to grow. Here's our promise. Um, everything we do will be available free on the internet how-tos, case studies, tutorials, property videos. If you wanted to watch them all, you could learn exactly how to do it yourself um, without buying any more education courses or anything like that. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get updates first and unique content just for you. Um, there's a subscribe button somewhere around, I'm sure if wherever you're watching this, press it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, honestly, we know that more pe most people need um, a little bit more than just you know, a, a video. So look out for our workshops, uh, free property meetups once we're allowed to, out to play again, because um, we're gonna do, be doing more of those as well, um, we promise. A lot of people, actually most people, uh, work out that they need more help. Um, they either haven't got one of, one of three things, one or all of the three things, time, skill, or inclination to build their own property empire. So we will, of course, always still be offering the portfolio building service. Um, anyone who becomes a landlord, um, after engaging with us in any way, uh, is it, they're an advocate, they might even be a potential customer. So we don't care, care how you get there, um, just get there um, however you can. Let's dive straight into the updates then. So first, um, so some admin, I've, I, we, <laughs> others, have added a free text box underneath the video. So if you want to be in touch on any of these, any of these matters, there's a free text box. Just type your question or whatever it is and, and submit. So under this video, watching it on our um, website, there'll be a, a free text box. Um, before the lockdown, we were right in the middle of a, a, a project that, um, I was championing in, it was to engage and sometimes re-engage with all of our landlords to conduct an annual review. COVID put a pay to that. Um, it was being conducted by uh, by people that, uh, you know, they, 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 they went furlough. Um, and uh, it, it was a, a new business stroke uh, admin task that uh, wasn't essential, so that had to, had to be sidelined. Um, we will pick it back up. Um, but if you're a landlord that's been with us since, let's say 2017 before, and I'm looking at the records, and some, some people have been with us since 2007, 2008, be in touch with us. Um, any property bought before 2017 will have gone up in value considerably. Um, it deserves to re be refinanced so you can buy more properties. Um, it's been our fault, we've been too focused on the new and the going forward. We should have looked back and uh, encouraged um, landlords, existing landlords, to, to buy and buy more and, and, and grow. One of our biggest challenges that we've identified, and this is where the, the Teach and Inspire thing comes from, is getting those landlords over what we've, we've called the hump, the hump of the first five properties. Um, if you have a problem in those first five problem properties, it can, it can feel like the end of the world, you know? Um, the same property, if it occurs on property one or property five, can feel quite different. If it occurs, you know, in property, 10, 15, 20, then 
you know it's business as usual it, it is what it is it's part of the game um, just some headlines we have a headline we have never bought a house for fifty thousand pounds that hasn't doubled in value of in five years um, so I'd encourage all of our existing landlords to refinance um, and get buying again uh, brings us on to mortgages so mortgages seem to be fully back valuers are doing surveys again I had one uh, last week myself personally uh, valuations seem to be holding steady if you're looking at refinancing a property or a portfolio now is a great time to do that personally I've just sorted out a little war, war chest uh, to take advantage of any opportunity the next few months throws at us. Uh, if you would like to speak to one of our brokers, or a broker, um, we can arrange an introduction to the one that I use. She's well, she's simply the best broker that I've, I've used, so you know, we're very happy to signpost our clients to, to her. Um, another point here, a number of our landlords have secured, secured bounce back loans, so yeah, significant sums of money at 0% interest rate and no capital repayment for a year and thereafter 2.5% I think they're the headline rates um, so cheap money and like I say some of our landlords have secured those so I'd, I'd urge you if you think you're eligible to uh, contact your bank um, the criteria for acceptance does seem quite vague uh, from what our clients tell us if you think you're eligible, then you're probably eligible. So uh, yeah, take that up with your bank. So into the uh, the update proper, finding property to investing, so building your empire. We had several viewings last week. We secured two properties, both are now with clients, going through the conveyancing process. Uh, we've got 20 viewings, over 20 viewings booked in for this week. Uh, we've secured one property already, first day in. Um, I've got a feeling that uh, while I'm talking to you now, we might be securing another one as well. Anecdotally, more vendors appear to be more willing to accept our offers, which are by their nature usually lower than most offers. Um, we are stepping up our search for HMOs, so houses of multiple occupation. There's a pent up demand for HMOs from our clients and also from tenants. Um, incidentally, if you have any serviced accommodation units that are lying empty, because of COVID, then uh, short-term accommodation isn't isn't um, turning over. I, I, I was going to say uh, much at all. You know, people got empty units. Um, we will gladly move them over to houses of multiple occupation because we have got tenant demand. We've done a few of those now where uh, landlords couldn't rent it out under short-term contracts. Um, so long as the standard of decor is good, HMOs are renting out like hotcakes. My uh, lettings manager's written down there. Um, so yeah, they're, they're definitely uh, they're definitely renting. Um, a good HMO room will always be in demand. Uh, our average tenure is over 18 months now. We're approaching two years in an HMO room, so a very stable income. Unlike the transient um, um, uh, the serviced accommodation, um, all the uncertainty of ser serviced accommodation. So if you've got empty units, definitely we we, we could help you switch those. Uh, fixing property up. Um, so we buy a property, it's a little bit run down, it needs fixing up. Uh, how's that going? Uh, it looks like all sites are now restarted. There are still a few hiccups here and there, nothing too serious. If you've got a property in renovation, you will know about it. We send out video updates every week, of course, so you'll be well aware of any specific challenges. Um, but if you're going to be restarting a or starting a renovation anytime soon, then you can anticipate relatively normal conditions so long as nothing changes. There's still one or two hiccups, but we have supplies mainly, but, but everything is, it'll be sorted in two weeks. So we're expecting next week, it'll be sorted in a week, and then two weeks from now, I would expect most supplies to be normal, um, as long as nothing changes. Uh, renting, so once we've got a, a rent, ready to rent unit, what's it like in the market to rent properties out? Continues to be very, very busy renting houses and rooms um, we anticipate a month at least close to this time last year so at least close to normal I would not be surprised if it was normal or even if we beat it because there's definitely some pent-up demand there um, it's a little bit 
choppy the waters you know a bit a bit up and down um but last week it settled down a lot you know a lot of interest but maybe not so quite so many lets coming from the interest um so sort of uh, speculative emails and, and 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 viewings booked whatnot um but it does seem to be settling down and we've got a steady stream of uh, move-ins booked in for this month already uh, long-term management so with the team back up to full strength things are getting back to normal um Let's, let's face it, they're as normal as they're going to be until people are back in this office working. So we're, we've just got to get on with it. This month we'll see a return to our usual regi regime of um, operational meetings uh, and reporting. So that certainly makes me feel a lot more normal just because of that. Uh, although we will be doing it on Microsoft Teams, we won't be doing it uh, around our boardroom table. So, uh, you know, we're making the best of it. And uh, something in me tells me that it, it might not might not be a uh, a lesser normal um you know working on teams having all your documents uh, available having clear concise agendas it might make my meetings uh, slightly more um to the point so let, let's see I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it arrears and maintenance are under control any backlog of work is either being cleared or is cleared already um you know arrears stayed staggeringly low throughout all this so uh, we have we don't actually quantify it uh, it was one percent difference it was yeah, the difference between normal arrears and arrears throughout this was one percent of, of rent collected different so yeah, pretty pretty staggering uh, we've got 14 people on a on a payment plan and all of them are sticking to it uh, in fact two of them have got one payment to go until it is, it is, it's finished so um, I'll say no reference to that because this being the first it will be it'll be in the next couple of days that that will happen so uh, anything else um i did i did have just one thing and and it's in it's sort of bringing your attention to now is the time it is now because i know that some people are waiting and will be waiting it's natural you know you, you feel like um you know we've been through what we've been through so you're wait, waiting preparing getting ready thinking about uh, planning about but we are meeting people every day who did that last month and they're going now. So now is the time. Um, the window might be short, so don't miss out. Build your empire. That's it for now, and uh, I shall speak to you next week.